In a previous video, I showed you how to fine tune a Llama 2 model on your custom data from Hugging Face. In a subsequent video, I showed you how you can create your own data set using code interpreter from ChatGPT. But in this video, we're going to bring everything together and I'll show you a single Google Colab notebook that you can use for automating the data creation as well as the model training process. So let's get started. Okay, the project that we're going to be looking today is called GPT LLM Trainer. And this was brought to my attention by a great community member on our Discord server. Check out the Discord server. Link is going to be in the description. Training or fine tuning a large language model is a very difficult process. It involves data collection, cleaning the data, getting the data in the right format, then selecting the model, then writing code, train it, and then do the actual training. Now, this project tries to create a new pipeline to train high performing task specific models. So you simply need to provide an input description of your task. The system will generate data set from scratch, parse it in the right format, and then fine tune a Llama 2 model for you. Now, in this case, you will need access to GPT-4 API in order to create the data set. And the data set is going to be in the form of prompt and responses from GPT-4. Now, the setup is relatively simple if it works. I ran into some issues, so I'm going to talk about those. So basically, it's a simple Google Colab notebook. You want to utilize the GPU. You probably need uh, the paid account for this to work. And you also need the OpenAI API key. Now, how to use it? You simply need to provide a single prompt. That is the description of what you want the trained AI to do. And the author suggests that you provide a, a descriptive and clear instructions for it so that uh, it can generate a better data set and train a better model. There are two other parameters you probably want to set. One is the temperature. So that basically controls the creativity of GPT-4 or ChatGPT, whatever you used for data creation, and then the number of examples. I actually ran into an issue here. So I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. And after that, you simply want to run all the cells available in the uh, notebook. And there is even a section for running inference on the trained model. So here is the original notebook. You definitely want to run this on high VRAM GPU. So they are uh, suggesting V100 GPU. But any case, in any case, you want to make a copy of this on your drive. And after that, uh, you simply need to change this based on the problem that you are trying to solve. For example, I changed the default prompt to a model that takes in an expression in English and responds with a rap song in English. Now you need to provide your own OpenAI API key in order to use either GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 Turbo. Now in order to generate examples, the author is using a system message for GPT-4. So this is the system message that goes into GPT-4 or uh, GPT-3.5 based on uh, your selection, right? And uh, so this function basically takes care of generating examples uh, in the data set. Now here you can change the default model. So by default, it's a GPT-4, but you can replace this with uh, GPT-3.5. Now, one more thing which you probably want to change is this max tokens. So with the default settings of around 1354, uh, I was uh, running into rate limit issues from OpenAI. So I had to replace this. I was also not able to use GPT-4 for some reason. So I changed it to GPT-3.5 and I think I replaced this by 500 tokens. So in my case, I'm using uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo uh, instead of GPT 4. In the quality of output, I haven't really seen any difference uh, in terms of the data set that it generates. Now you will notice that I'm currently running this um, at this moment. I have seen that the code timeout uh, a couple of times on me, or there are some API response issues uh, from OpenAI. So if you face these issues, I guess these are normal. Uh, so it completed uh, the data set creation process, or at least the example generation process. And here is how it's going to look like. So I'm going to provide this prompt, and then here's the output from the model. So uh, we're going to be using this prompt response pair to fine tune our own model. This block of code will add a system message to the model that you're fine tuning. So for example, here uh, is an example system message that is going to be added to the data set. So it says given an expression in English, you will receive a rap song in English. 
Now, this is necessary because the author of this notebook was trying to fine tune a chart version of the Lama 27B. So, next, everything is put together in a nice uh, pandas data frame. All right, and here's how the data set is going to look like. So, you're going to have from the corresponding response, right? And for some reason, um, it never generates the number of examples that you ask it for, at least in my case. So initially I asked for around 100 examples, it only generated around 40. Uh, in this case, I asked for 75 examples and I got a total of 51 examples. I think this has something to do with um, the way you are querying OpenAI API. And after that, we are dividing our data set into train and test set. So 90% of the data is kept for training and 10% uh, of the data is going to be uh, kept for validation or testing. Now, this concludes the data creation process. So if you are running this on a Google Colab, you will see that it will generate these two JSON files. I would recommend you to download these locally uh, so that you don't have to repeat this process again. And in order to do that, you simply need to click on these three dots next to the file and click on download, and that will download the files for you. Next, we are defining all the hyperparameters for training the model. So here's the model name that we want to use. It's the uh, Lama 27B chart version uh, from Nose Research. And then define the uh, data set name. So that's the data set that we're going to be using for training and what is going to be the new model name. The rest of the parameters are parameters used for training or fine tuning. However, I ran into this issue that when I was trying to run this uh, load data set and train section, it was not able to find the model um, that I was trying to access. So I went and checked on the uh, repo and for some reason, uh, the nose research group has deleted that specific model. So I did some research and found another chat version of the model on Hugging Face. Now you need the chat version for this specific notebook to work because the author of the notebook is using the default prompt template for Lama 7B chat models. If you look here, this is the prompt template that was used by Meta to train the Lama 2 chat version models. And since we are fine tuning a chat model, that's why we will need to provide a data set in this specific format. However, if you are fine tuning a base version of the Lama 2 model, you can define your own prompt template. Okay, so the free version of Google Colab was not working and I had to switch to V100 uh, GPU, but it, were, it wasn't working either. So I switched to A100 GPU. So let's see if this is going to work for our purposes. Now, keep in mind that using A100 GPU will cost around $13 per hour on Google Colab. Okay, uh, so the training is complete. Now let's test it on a simple prompt. So the prompt is a boy running in the rain. And it was able to generate a rap song. Uh, it's not bad at all, given that we trained the model on only 50 examples. So it's pretty good. After training, you can save the model to your Google Drive. So this uh, code segment will do that. Uh, so in this case, we are simply storing the uh, tokenizer, the corresponding uh, configurations into this uh, custom uh, path that we have defined. So in this case, we're storing this as a Lama 27B custom file. Then you can load the store model from Google Drive to do inference on a new example. So that's how you can use this GPT LLM trainer, both for creating your data sets using a single prompt, as well as fine tuning your model based on that data set that you created. Now, personally, I would like to use the first part of the code uh, just to create the data set. Uh, for fine tuning, I'll still prefer the auto train advanced package from Hugging Face because it's a single line of code that lets you train powerful models. Just keep in mind that you will need a very powerful GPU in order to train this. So in this case, we were using a, a A100 GPU uh, and it's mainly because of the system RAM that is needed. Another thing to consider is in this case, I did not use the official Lama 2 model, uh, but if you have the, uh, the access token, you can use that as well. I just did not want to do that in this specific video. I hope this video was helpful. If you found it useful, consider liking the video. It helps with the algorithm 
and subscribe to the channel also turn on the push notifications so you don't miss another video from the channel as always thanks for watching and see you in the next one